Okay. We're going to get this show on the road here. Last two days, not today, but the last two. So Wednesday and Thursday, we spent almost as much time in repair shops as we have on the road. Uh, first day, uh, we had to have two panels reattached to our trailer, and we finally found an auto body shop that helped us out. And we'll uh, put their link in the description and give them all the kudos they need. And then yesterday we spent the better part of the afternoon at a camping world having our wiring checked because the alarm on the dash of the pickup kept saying check wiring and then I go connected. And then I go check wiring, trailer connected. And it would do this eight or ten times, and then it would stop for maybe a minute, and then it'd do it three or four. Anyway, like that on and on most of the morning. So we got in there and they changed the wiring from the trailer to the plug on the pickup. They changed the actual male plug. And we didn't get two blocks down the road and turned around and went back. They'd done it four times in that amount of time. The alarm went off. So they said, well, it's, we're going to widen the pins on the pickup plug. So they did that and we took off again. We didn't even get out of the parking lot and it was still doing it. Now, let me tell you, these guys are they're doing a good job here so they're really working with us they didn't even have to take us it was an emergency type situation but they did they fit us in so i believe they went above and beyond the last time they said they were going to check the wiring back to the brakes because there's actually on this model of trailer there's a wire that runs from one brake through the axle to the other brake and they thought one of the brakes were broken so we had a break in the brake <laughs> so anyway um they said take about an hour and we were gone about a half hour and we came back and they came out and said we found it there's a magnet that attaches to the brake and it had come loose and it was just flopping around in there so sometimes it would make connection but if you hit a bump or something then it would go the connection would go bad so they replaced that and i told them thank you um, they made us a good deal on the second part um, they were very kind they were appreciative that we didn't get upset and I told the gentleman, I said, you know, this, this isn't your problem. This is our problem. So I'm the one that should be grateful. And they appreciated that very much. But he said most people are not appreciative anymore. And that's something people need to realize is, you know, an emergency on my part doesn't make it an emergency on their part. And they did everything they could to try and fix it for us when they didn't even have to because we did not have an appointment but anyway so they found the problem they fixed it and we went on down the road yesterday afternoon and pretty much did not have another problem now this morning we got up and we've had a few times where it's done that again and i believe what happened is we've had two instances now since we left their lot where I think the brakes got heated up and that magnet might have come off again. Uh, one time we almost took out a peacock on a backcountry road and I literally had to anchor the brakes to keep from hitting it. And we did it. We missed it. 
And the other one was today, we were traveling down the freeway and I was trying to take an exit and in doing so, I didn't see that the exit speed was 15 miles an hour. Well, we're doing 70. When I exited, well, we would slow down to about 60. But we had a very short distance to get down to 15 miles an hour to make the corner. And oh boy, howdy, did I lock them up that time. So I, I just don't understand a 15 mile an hour exit. But it is what it is. That was all on me. But I can highly recommend Camping World. Uh, like I say, I'll put all the information down in the link and, uh, or the description and, you know, link both of the two repair shops up and give credit where credit was due because neither shop, you know, had any obligation to take us in and they did. So right now we're going to have a couple of drinks. We're going to be in this spot for the night. And Retta's got her drink. She's bringing Thor out. I'm going to drink my beer and I'm going to work on a walking stick. Because it seems like those things really relax me. And hopefully we can start putting some more videos together. We've got some content made up, but I just haven't had time to edit it. So if you made it for this far, I just want to say thank you. And... Promise to be getting out some better videos of this trip. So, thanks for tuning in, and I hope everybody's having a great one. Take care.